Hello, it's Jamie, and it is Tuesday, September 29th, 2015, and this is an ITC experiment for Uncapped Tuesday, and I just happened to be looking for a topic to do now loading shirt cast for this, and there was a gal station. who actually Channels 10 through 20 now initiated. Channels was looking for somebody to maybe initiated. ask Channels some questions about this, so initiated. it Channels worked out. I ended up with the topic, and I hope that she ends up initiated. hearing something that is significant to her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask 10 questions that I got from, from this um, poster who um, has a little bit of a connection to this particular case, uh, Deanie Peters. And I'm going to ask my guides if my guides can help to fill in some of the blanks, maybe relay some messages to us that they might know about some answers. I don't necessarily believe that if Deanie Peters, in fact, has passed, that she would be the one communicating with me, but I do believe that the guides can be a type of liaison sometimes that can go in between us and deliver answers or give us little clues to things. So I'm going to ask 10 questions, and when I'm finished with the SCD-1, then I'm going to turn on the Bacubus and ask the same 10 questions, and that way we can compare and see if anything matches up and... <laughs> Let me know what you guys hear in the comments section. So this one, I like to do the mute method. And I really like the SCD-1-4 question and answer type thing because you get really good replies. Many times they'll actually be answering you as you're either unmuting or as the words are coming out of your mouth. They're already ready. Anyhow, so I already <clears throat> asked mine ahead of time if they wouldn't mind helping, if they could um, answer some of these questions, and immediately I felt um, that underwater feeling in my ears that happen when they're around. So I have the chair for them right here, which they'll probably use more when we use the Vocubus. They like to take their picture. We call it spirit selfies, but... They like to manipulate that. And then I have their light sitting right here next to me, and this lets them know that I'm ready for communication. You'll hear them say words like extinguish, things like that, when I'm getting ready to wrap it up because I always blow the candle out when I'm done. So I already pre-prepped them. We have our crystals here. And the first question I'm going to ask is, is Dina Peters living? Did Kathy harm Deanie? Is Dini buried on Art's property? Where are Deanie's remains? If Deanie has passed, where are her remains?
Is Danny in any water? Did Danny visit art? If Deanie Peters is no longer living, will the remains ever be found? If Dini has passed, does she have a message for Rosemary for some reason? If Dini has passed, does she have any message at all that she would like to relay? And just at all. the drill. Now we're going to try the vacuvas. And you guys, here's your here's your chair and here's your light. So I can feel you guys already on this side starting to come over. If you guys want to show us your picture, that'd be really cool. Just a quick second. If you guys are here and you'd like to show me your picture, you can come and have a seat and here you go. You can come and sit down and you can look on your picture right here and, and show us what you can do. I'm home alone. Any noises you hear coming straight from this software and the wind chimes outside. Thank you. Are you beside me? I feel it a lot right here. Yeah, and I feel it coming up my lap right here. Are you guys right next to me here? Thank you. <laughs> you guys are big time here. And now you're putting pressure on my head a little bit. Can you do it again? 
You can use my energy. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay, you can do it one more time. Then we're gonna ask some questions, okay? You guys are awesome. Go ahead. I feel it. Go ahead. Thank you. All right. How are you? Software, huh? Let me get a little error pop up in a minute. Yeah. Can we ask questions while you do the image first? Are you able to speak and do that at the same time? Yeah, I felt a pretty big drain a minute ago. questions. Okay. Can you, it's quiet and weird while they're doing this. The vibe right now in the room, if you guys could be sitting, oh wow. If you guys could be sitting here right now. I know that you're all spread 
started out like in about probably about a three and a half foot circle. I could feel the energy in this like big ball. Is Dini buried on Art's property? Where are Dini's remains? Is Dini in water? Did Dini visit art? That was a house. Does that mean she went to a house? I'm just speculating. If Dini Peters is no longer living, will her remains ever be found? If Dini has passed, does she have a message for Rosemary for some reason? How close y'all gotta be to do this? Like if I move... Oh, last question. If Dini has passed, does she have any message at all that she would like to relay? Alright. How close do you guys have to be to do this? And... If I move the energy around this, will it break the connection of whatever you're doing? Like this. In oh, shoot. It almost did. Okay. Let's see. If I move around this, will it break the energy of you guys? Because I feel the energy. I feel it around me right now. So what I'm trying to do, because I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with it. When you walk into a room sometimes, like in a place that they say is like haunted, you know, documented haunted, you'll, and people who are familiar with the feeling know what I mean. And you walk into a room and you can feel that feeling I'm feeling now, like that sucking in of the lungs, your, everything's kind of closing in. You almost feel like it's around you and you can almost see the energy, where it's at, like what form it's actually taking. And right now, I'm feeling it exactly right here, and I've always been curious how close they need to be to manipulate this. Sometimes when you walk in a room, too, like, there was a place I walked into, I got amazing energy in this one room, but then, like, three other people walked in the little room, walked in right after me, and... The second they all came in, it was like you could feel it just dissipate out. And it's like how we take physical space where, you know, matter and, you know, all this stuff, we take up space. Well, energy takes up space, too, whether we see it or not. And I imagine it almost like when you take two, like, positives of a magnet, you know, when you're a kid and you try to push them together and you could feel that little energy ball, you know, that you try to break to stick them together, but they never will. I almost picture it kind of like that, except I believe it has the ability to move through us because 
I had a pretty good insight of that happening. And that's why I also think sometimes investigations are best done by yourself in a room. For one thing, if you're serious about it and you really want to debunk what's going on and get to the bottom of something, help somebody. Uh, the more you strip out everything else, all the you know, spill through, contamination, everything. Can you guys stop it on a stop it on the girl? Stop it on the creepy girl. Can you do that, please? Am I in your way? Are you able to? Can you see? Can you stop it on the girl? I really appreciate all your help this afternoon. Oh, I saw her back there, though. I appreciate your help a lot. Is there anything you guys would like to talk about? Is there anything you would like to talk about before we wrap this up? Because I don't think you guys are going to stop and... As cool as this is, this will end up being like an hour burst probably. Are you trying to put it on the girl's picture? Thank <laughs> you. 
Can you stop it on the girl? This turned out a little bit better than I was expecting, and I hope that you get the answers or some answers that you're looking for.